Hello everyone, this is Ankit Adma and I will talk about Aurangzeb, his policies and impacts on the people of Mughal Empire, how a mighty empire like that of Great Mughals started to decay and fell in his strong rule. Right, it is because of many factors and forces have been at work which caused the decline of Mughal Empire and the strong rule of Aurangzeb. So there is lot to learn and lot to know about it and at the end of the lecture we will get to know everything about Aurangzeb, his abilities his policies and the impact he had on the people of Mughal Empire. Right, so guys, let's start. Aurangzeb, he was born in November 3, 1618 and died in March 3, 1707. In the Mughal dynasty, he ruled it. Right, he was the third son of Saja and Mumtaz Mahal and ruled from 1658 to 1707. He was a serious-minded Serious minded and devout youth wedded to the Muslim orthodoxy. He showed a re- sign of military and administrative ability early and combined with a taste of power, which brought him rivalry with his eldest brother Dara Sikho, who he had decisively defeated at Samogar and declared himself the emperor, which was tactical and strategical ability of his. Right. He inherited a large empire. And as he adopted the policy of extending it to further the farthest geographical limits. Right. And uh, it also seen the beginnings of the decline of Mughal Empire that are to be traced in his strong rule. He wanted to extend it to the farthest geographical uh, limits. Right. And his religious orthodoxy and his policy towards the Hindu rulers damaged the stability of the empire. While in the days of Akbar, Jagir and Saja, there was a policy of non-interference with the religious beliefs and customs of the people. But the orange Zay, he made an attempt to reverse the policy by imposing jizya and destroying many of the Hindu temples in the north. By putting certain restrictions on the Hindus, he tended to alienate the Hindus and thus widened the gulfs between the Hindu and Muslims upper classes. In the Deccan, he was not willing to accept the Maratha demand for their regional autonomy and tried to suppress them, failing to grasp that he cannot crush them easily. While Akbar in the similar circumstances made an alliance with the Rajputs and Aurangzeb tried to suppress them. And his absence from the north for over 25 years led to the deterioration in the administration of the Mughal Empire. And it decayed the entire administration of the Mughal Empire. Nobles, the backbone of the Mughal Empire, many of the nobles, the chief nobles and the officials utilized this scenario and this uncertain, uncertainty and political chaos in the center gave them the chance to consolidate their own position. And for their own position, they tried different different means of selfishness and uh, cliquishness to grab the position as high as they possible. Right. And after the death of Aurangzeb, the Mughal dynasty was always plagued by a civil war between the princes for the power, and result which resulted in the great lo- great loss of life, property, and capable military commanders and efficient officials, and which also thus weakened the mighty Mughal Empire and the administrative fabric of the empire. So guys, this is